What up, guys? It's that cheap Christmas wrapping pattern you found at the bottom shelf of the dollar store. Right, no crunch here today. We're jumping pleasant. We're playing solo squads, aka me versus the world, me versus four man teams as a solo player. Rambo challenge, Hitman challenge, whatever you want to call it, one one man army challenge. We're gonna jump uh, treehouse. Where is everybody? Wait, what? Are you serious right now? No way. A free loot at Pleasant Park. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I can't believe it. And we got a blue tack. And we got a shield. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a good match. It may not be a high kill match, but boy, it's gonna be a good one. Move this uh, automatic to the first hotkey. Alright, just so I don't lose my mind, uh, let's, let's count chess. There's one. If this is an actual free loot, I can test this theory that I have about purples and legendaries spawning in Pleasant. The theory goes there's always one purple and one legendary that spawns in Pleasant. Same with Greasy. There's our legendary. Darn, that sucks. I was hoping I was going to get a gold scar or a legendary scar. Let's go check downstairs. So that's one chest, one legendary. So now we just need to find another purple. We're going to have so much ammo, too. This is going to be good, man. If I am alone. Which I don't believe it. There's no way, dude. I, can't. I guess people don't like Pleasant. Grab this, too. This is growing on me again. Even though they nerfed it, it used to be so OP. Even though they nerfed the scoped uh, G36 or whatever gun it is. I don't know. You gun nerds will probably correct me in the comments, but whatever scoped rifle this is. I haven't really liked it, but it's growing on me again. Just because it's hit scan. And, uh, yeah, man. You can get some pretty crazy shots with it. So I hope you guys are having a blessed week. Doing fantastic, man. Uploads are crazy. I've been I've been uploading every day for almost two months, man. Here we go. Second chest. Wait, no, second? Was this the second or the third? One, two, that's the second chest. Third chest. That's the third chest. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Yeah, dude, there's nobody here. This will be the fourth chest. Still no purple, though. Oh, the bees spawned. There's a little Easter egg. Oh, here we go. There's a little Easter egg right here. Kind of rare. Check it out. Beehive. We got a good loadout here, though. This is, this is really good. I'd like to see a better AR. Ooh, there's some more blue drink, too. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. If we could get like a, a blue AR or a purple scar, that would be fantastic. Maybe a grenade launcher. I'll be happy with that. Yeah, man, this is, this is nutty. Cause the thing is I jumped right next to the plane too. So it wasn't like I jumped far away. Like I literally jumped right, right and pleasant. No chest in here, it sounds like. At least not one upstairs in the attic. Oop. How about here? Oh, no chest here either. Grab the ammo at least. So yeah, I've been uploading like crazy. I, man, I got a lot of stuff that I need to get done. I just don't have the time. You know, these daily uploads are nutty. Nothing up here. Wow. Normally there's a chest between these two houses and I guess sometimes I feel like uh, eh, that doesn't really count as a purple. Yeah, I guess it does. There's our purple and there's our legendary, so it's true. I just think statistically the amount of spawns, you're going to find a purple, you're going to find a legendary. Guaranteed. Let's check this too. I found scars in here and shields in here before.
So yeah, I, I've been meaning to get t-shirts. I know a lot of you guys want t-shirts and hoodies and stuff, but I think I talked about this in one of the previous episodes. If I didn't, I'm just going to repeat it because I still see comments about t-shirts and hoodies. Let's see what's in here. Who's number five? Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, what are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to take... There's two... We're going to take the slurp juice. The reason I'm taking the slurp juice is because it the overshield will heal more than the medic will for the health, if that makes sense. Then the first aid will only heal you up to 100, where I'm not going to be at zero health. I'll be dead if I'm at zero health to heal. It makes sense in my head. Whatever. Anyways, uh... What was I saying? Oh, yes. T-shirts. I've been meaning. I'm waiting. We're going to get them. Don't worry. Just be patient. Probably won't be before Christmas. I know. Rip. But, uh... We'll get them. What is this? Six? I think this is six. Five, six. Yeah, this is six. I can only stack the two. Check up here, too. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Green M16. Better than nothing. Six. Sometimes there's one in this. Yep, there's one in this garage. Seven. So seven. Not bad. Seven chests and pleasant. All to myself. It's got to be a record. No resistance. No trouble. More ammo. Like we need it. I don't even have a SMG. All right, let's push. Let's go hunting. I can't believe I haven't seen anybody yet. How many people are left? 29? What the heck? Where the heck is everybody? They're all getting killed, man. Stop. Wait for me. I want some. I won't get a little bite off. Now, most guys would edit this boring stuff out, but you know what? I don't like doing that because I feel like it inaccurately represents the game. You guys are going to be desensitized so hard if you only see the highlights of this game. So... I'm sorry if you feel like your time has been wasted, but it's time well spent, IMO. So, oh yeah, merchandise. Back to the merchandise. It's it's epic, dude. It's it's gonna be epic. If you're if you've been a fan of the channel before Fortnite and you Daisy, Arma 3, Rust, any of the games that I played, the artwork that's getting done is amazing. And uh I just I can't wait. Airdrop. Let's go for it. It's actually wrecked. We're going to smoke it so we can get it. All right, let's go get it. So, yeah, I was thinking even like I'll, I'll do maybe like a limited edition prints because it's actually going to be like a painting. And it's hard to explain. I'm really excited for it, though, because it's like it pays homage to every game that I've ever played on the channel that's been, like, successful. And it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait. But this has been a work in progress since another shield. Oh, my gosh. It hurts. We got to remember there's a shield on the mountain. There's a shield right there, too, in case we need to fall back to it for whatever reason. Let's check the top of this mountain for a chest. What are we up to? Seven, eight, nine chests? Oh my... I can't... Oh, dude. I can't leave this shield. I'm dropping the sniper. I know. I know. I know. Let's go get the other shield. Listen, we're in solo squads, and we need to play more defense and offense. And I have an M16. I can snipe with that. Don't believe me? Go watch any of the other videos, the the tens of videos that I've done where I've sniped with this gun across the map. Plus, I fast peek with the sniper. When I start sniping on solo squads, it gets really sketchy. Rather just quick peek with the M16. So, yeah. Anyways, I think I've said all that needs to be said about uh, t-shirts and hoodies. Just be patient, guys. It might be a couple months. <laughs> it might be a couple more months, baby, but when they come here, it'll be worth it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm excited for them.
Dude, what the heck is this game right now? This is the weirdest game I've ever played. 22 people left? Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's try to find these guys. I mean... They had to have dropped like retail, salty, and fatal or something. Because there's nobody on this side. Yeah, we better reload that, boy. We better, no, we don't need to reload this. I mean, where is everybody, man? Like, this is crazy. Oh, there's some buildings. So somebody was here. Somebody jumped here. <sighs> it smells fresh, boy. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know where these guys went, man. On the lake? We're gonna go for this other airdrop too. Maybe they pushed this way. Maybe we're behind them right now. And they're at the uh, factory down here. It's at the top of the hill. We're doubling back. I don't think this was looted. I don't think we're pushing behind them. Ooh, let me go get this wood, boy. Another shield? Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Are you kidding me, dude? That's like nine, nine chests to myself. I can't believe this match right now. I'm blown away at this match. Like, is this going to be the one kill challenge? This might actually be the one kill challenge. Let's get this wood. Survive to the end. Get one kill to win the game. That was a challenge you guys have requested. Which I will never try to do, by the way. Because that will put me to sleep. I mean, I'm putting myself to sleep right now. Not seeing anybody. But I mean, what do I do, really? You know what I'm saying? I'm not backing out with all this juicy loot, boy. I'm taking this to the finish line. Another airdrop. All to ourselves. No one even pushed it. Let me guess. A shield. Nope. No shield. What is it? Slurp juice. <sighs> this is so ridiculous right now, dude. 14 people left. Oh, they built up on the Tony Stark's house. Let's go push it. So what do we get? 10 chests to ourselves? Two airdrops? It's got to be a record. Wait, did that bush just move? All right, I'm losing it. Just kidding. This is see this is what happens when I don't see anybody. I start losing it. Start making my own my own enemies out of nothing. We're kind of in, uh, we're kind of in a bad position. We're gonna need more materials because we're gonna have to build across the lake. Yeah, let's let's go out to Tony Stark's house. See what he's up to. they built out there or not just trying to get as many materials as I can oh all right you know what I'm gonna wipe this tower you shot at the wrong peanut peanut I should do it right Yeah, there you go. Don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it. As they fall into the lake. All right, let's push on. Let's push on that hill over there. Or uh, the island house. Let me just see here. Make sure no one's pushing on our flanks over on the side. Cannot believe no one pushed this factory. Let's 
get some more materials. We're going to need them. Oh, we're in such bad positioning. Uh, we got a base to our right. Let's get some more wood. We're going to need all this in case it it lands on it ends on the uh the island house. This is not good. Uh, let's line aside it. So they can't see our push. Wait, what the heck? Let me, let me place that in case they come out. Uh, build up. I think there's people on the roof. They're not peeking though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're not in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, all the loot. Oh, there's a trap somewhere. We gotta be careful. Well, there's one squad. There's another squad right there to our southeast. And there's another squad right there. Let's soften these guys up. We gotta finish this guy if we can. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm tearing into these dudes. We're just barely in it too. Um, yeah, we're gonna need this. We got a great spot. Oh crap, I left my shield. This is gonna be a weird push for us. Let's let's break this down as much as we can. These guys are both building up massively. Oh, we got a rocket coming in. Ow! He missed. Oh my gosh, we're in bad position here. Uh, let me break this. Build that out. Build that out. Why can't I build that out? Okay. Can we put a floor down here? We're going to have to build towards them. Trap. Uh oh, rocket inbound. Woo! Ah, I'm scared. I'm, I'm jumping. I'm bailing. Oh my gosh, my health. I have to bail. I gotta get in, or I'm gonna die, dude. I have to. Hold up, hold up. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh. oh, barely. We got two squads left, man. We gotta pick one. Drink this up. Let's get my health up a little bit.
Uh oh, they're pushing. Oh no! Oh, this guy's so lit. Oh, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Blowing that, blowing that, blowing that for me, buddy. Thanks, man! Thanks, buddy! Yeah! Yes! That's how you do it, man. Gosh, what a slow start. Slow start. It's not a lot going on, but boy, what a finish. That was awesome. G to the G. All right, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. And if you like the video, make sure to drop a like. It's always good to win a solo squad, even though beginning wasn't the greatest, but we had a strong finish, which is always nice. So we're going to continue our series. This is the Sermon on the Mount series. And we're up to the seventh chapter of the book of Matthew, for verse 1. And this is just a continuation of the speech that Jesus gave called the Sermon on the Mount. But we are up to chapter 7. We're two-thirds of the way done, dudes. We're almost finished. We're almost there. And the title of this chapter is Judging Others. Let's get into it. Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but you do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is a log in your own eye, you hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. So basically, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this, judge not lest you be judged and don't cast, uh, do not give dogs what is holy and don't cast your pearls before swine. Two pretty popular quotes from the Bible. Really quickly, just to simplify it, God is saying, whatever judgment you're casting on brothers is going to be cast back to you. Whatever measure you make on people is going to be measured back to you. And then he's saying, how are you trying to, how you dingus, how are you trying to save people with your words, but yet you yourself have not been saved, right? Or how are you trying to judge others with you, with your words, but you yourself have not no judgment in you, no righteousness in you, right? And so sometimes I feel like there's people in your life that you can't help to want to help and you can't help to want to cast judgment on, right? You want to you wanna share with them maybe or you want to lead them to the right path. Well, if you're not seeing clearly and you cannot show them the right path correctly, then you're not, you can't do it. You, trying to show someone the way without knowing the way, it's like the blind leading the blind, right? So I think the whole point to this judging others is, first of all, in God's eyes, we're all the same. Every single one of us is the same. There's none righteous, no, not one, right? And he wants us, instead of to judge each other, to love each other. Okay, it says, love your neighbor like yourself. It's one of the greatest commandments that Jesus said. It's the second greatest commandment. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and love your neighbor like yourself. Don't judge your neighbor. Love your neighbor. And I think through love, you can cast the speck that's in your brother's eye out, but not through judgment and not through, not through hypocrisy. Through love, though, you can so, and I think that's what the message is here. And I hope that you guys see that. If you have someone in your life that you maybe want to help and you just, you can't help, you know, maybe it's that black sheep of the family. You can't help to give your little two cents about how they need to do their, do get something in their life straight, right? Instead of that, think about maybe just loving them and just doing what Jesus would do. Forgive them unconditionally, love them unconditionally, and let God work it out. And show them that through your love, you're, first of all, the children of God, right? You represent God. When you start to do that, wow, right? Whoa, you are representing God when you love them like that. And when they see that love, that love will heal whatever it is that you want. And, and again, I think that God is trying to let us know that it's not up to you. It's up to me. I'm the judger, 
I'm, I'm the one with judgment, not you guys. You guys are, you're all dinguses. I'm, I'm the one who can cast this judgment because I'm the one who's righteous, not you guys. So that's what I think the message is for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace and God bless.